I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when it comes to FL Studio, I've kind of been living under a rock. I just found out like two weeks ago that FL Studio 21 was released, but it's been out for like over a month already and has been teased by ImageLine for even longer than that. So you can imagine when I got the update, I was hyped as heck. FL Studio 21 has added so many new features that make the process of producing so much easier, like an improved browser and audio clip envelope controls. But what hyped me the most was one of FL Studio's new plugins called Luxverb, and it has made my song sound beautiful. What's up geniuses, my name is Adriel Roa and welcome back to the channel where you learn to show your genius. Before we get into what's so special about Luxverb, I just wanted to mention that I release a new song every month on the 25th. So if you wanna check out my music at any time, my social media links are always in the description, including my Spotify, so feel free to check it out. So why am I excited about Luxverb when FL Studio already has two other reverb plugins that work just fine? Luxverb is now the most advanced reverb plugin FL Studio has to offer, and one of its most outstanding features is its shimmer reverb capabilities. If you don't already know, all shimmer reverb does is add an extra wet signal to your reverb. However, the pitch of the signal can be adjusted to add a more atmospheric or shimmer effect. In my case, I like to add a shimmer reverb to my electric guitar recordings whenever I have slow and elongated strums. It adds a beautiful atmosphere to my songs that wouldn't be as immersive if all I used was a regular reverb and this can be applied to multiple different instruments in multiple different genres. I think every producer can find a use for it. Before Luxverb, if you wanted to get a shimmer effect using only native plugins, you would have to set up something really weird through Patcher that splits your audio channels into two, add a pitch shifter to change the pitch of one of those channels, and then add Fruity Reverb 2 to both of the channels to get the same effect. But that gets complicated, and I say most beginners probably wouldn't even think to do that. So in my case, I used a third-party plugin called Valhalla Shimmer, which, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful plugin. It has a great tone, but it costs like an extra 50 bucks and doesn't have as much customization as Luxverb does when shaping the sound of your reverb. With that being said, in order to get Luxverb, you need the all plugins edition of FL Studio, which costs about $500. The good thing is that since FL Studio gives you lifetime free updates, then if you already have the all plugins edition, you're going to always get the newest plugins whenever FL Studio adds them. So you're not only getting Luxverb, but all the plugins FL Studio has to offer. But then again, $500, but Hollow Shimmer, $50. Take your pick. Regardless, I've been having so much fun with this plugin. You can see I have my headphones on. So let me show you some examples of how to use this. In this example of a song that I'm currently working on, I have some guitar strums in the background with Luxverb applied. The context in which I imagine somebody listening to this would probably be like at night in the car, just, just vibing, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And to make that point a little more clear, I added some shimmer reverb to give the song a little more space and ambience, which I associate personally with nighttime. So here's the chorus. Uh, I have the guitars soloed here so you can hear it with the shimmer. And for context, this is it without the shimmer and just the reverb. It's still very wide. But when you add the shimmer, the feedback adds more spaciness to it. And here it is in the context of the song. In this next example that I just made, I have a simple synth that I just made with Serum. I love Serum, one of my favorite plugins ever. Thank you to my friend Connor for showing me serum. So I added Luxverb to the synth, but instead of it being shifted up an octave, I shifted it down to create more of a pad sound. Here's with it off. Right now there's no, there's no extra feedback on this reverb, but if I put it on, you can see pitch shift is down 12 semitones, which equals an octave. It's more of a filled out, deeper, richer pad sound. Hopefully you can now see how you can use this in more creative ways to give your sound a more beautiful and atmospheric quality. Regular reverb can't provide this type of tone. So shimmer reverb, luxverb, way to go. We still haven't even talked about Luxverb's envelope feature that lets you adjust the envelope of the reverb to do things like side chaining just the wet signal. And I'll admit, I've yet to use that part of Luxverb, so I honestly don't even know what the heck I could do with it, but I see a lot of potential. <laughs> 
finally, just for funsies, here's Valhalla Shimmer on a song that I released back in October called Promise of a Parachute. It's the same idea, just a different plugin. So here's how the guitar that I used for the song sounds like with the shimmer on. And then here's without the feedback and just the reverb. Very similar sound, but when you bring this up, it gives it just like a little bit more of that paddedness, like I said before. And I had it at like 0 0.08, so it's very, very subtle, but it adds a little bit and I like it. I like it. So here it is with the entire song. I And of course, you can always listen to that song on my Spotify. Doesn't necessarily have to be Spotify. I also have YouTube, but I like Spotify. Spotify, listen on Spotify. Let me know in the comments if this plugin is one you see yourself using in your production and make sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future. Again, if you wanna to listen to my music, links are always in the description. And make sure to check out this playlist for more FL Studio tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. Show your genius.